Hello and welcome. This is the RBC Canadian Women Entrepreneur Awards webinar on how to fill out an award-winning application. And this is module one, the intention to apply. Congratulations, you are extraordinary because you have been nominated for the RBC Canadian Women Entrepreneur Awards. I'm Alicia Scallon, co-CEO, head of events and programming with Women of Influence. We're so excited that you are taking the initiative to start thinking about the application. It is worth it. In module one, we are going to evaluate a few things to help you get ready. Number one, the eligibility. Do you qualify for this program? Number two, the application process. We are going to make it approachable, easy, and once again, totally worth your time. And number three, the intention to apply survey. What you need to know for filling that in. So let's dive in. First, the eligibility requirements. This will answer your biggest question. Do I qualify as an applicant? A nominee must be actively running a profitable business in Canada. That means you cannot be losing money in the past three years of running your company. You must be able to show three full years of financials as of May 31st of the current award year. It's great if these financial statements are done by an auditor or accounting firm, but that isn't required. As long as you can show that you have three full years of financials, that counts. You also need to own shares of the business but you need to be an owner. You are not going to be weighted on how many shares of the business you own. You also need to be the senior executive person in the business or the chief decision maker. And the reason why we do that is because sometimes you may not have the most senior title or you may have a co-founding title that isn't exactly clear about what your day-to-day -day is. So why we say that is we need to make sure that the business success and failures are with you. That is your business, you are running it. You are responsible for the day-to-day -day management and financial bottom line of the company. And we'll get into partnerships and mail partnerships later on. So you do need to prove you are the chief decision maker and the best way to do that is share your job description. And lastly, if you are the founder of the business, that's great. But you, if you have acquired the business, that's fine as well, as long as you can show you have had significant impact on the company's success since your arrival. Two other questions we get a lot about eligibility are whether or not franchisors are available. So franchisors are, but franchisees are not. And lastly, we do get a lot of questions about male and female partnerships applying to the awards. Now I'll just point out for the sake of argument that this is the Women Entrepreneur Awards. So in order to qualify, you do have to have a business that is run by a woman. But there are other cases where we have enabled male and female co-founders to win. And the one example I will share with you is the Herzig Eye Institute. They won a few years ago. Sherry Tab is a co-founder and Sheldon Herzig is a co-founder. But Sherry is a CEO and Sheldon is the medical director. So they were able to send a very clear job description where our judges could decipher that Sherry was legitimately running the business and Sheldon's expertise was on the medical and surgical side which was an asset to the business, but he wasn't running the day-to-day -day company. So that's how Sherry did actually win the award, and that is a great example. One final point that I will mention is that if you are in a female partnership, you should be applying together because you are both part of the business's success. The application process. Now I'm going to admit up front that we know this is daunting. We get that feedback a lot because the application is thorough, but it is that way on purpose. We want to run a credible awards program that is serious, that has serious candidates applying and properly evaluates your success. That's what an awards program should be. And we also have people to answer to. Our sponsors take a lot of pride in being associated with this preeminent awards program for women entrepreneurs. So they also want to make sure that we are recognizing the very best, and that's you. So what does this entail? There are five steps you need to go through. Number one is the intention to apply survey. Then we will choose your award category. You will then complete the business overview. You'll submit five key financial figures for the last three years, and you will include supporting documentation as outlined in the appendix. C, easy. You must complete all sections of the application and submit on time in order to be considered. And don't worry, everything you submit to Women of Influence is strictly confidential. There are only a few people in our office that would be handling your application and they are bound by strict confidentiality waivers along with our judges and sponsors. Let's start with the intention to apply survey. 
We use the Intent to Apply survey to forecast the amount of applications we can expect. It is key to the process that this survey is filled out so we can ensure all of our resources are available to you. Share your contact information so we know how to find you to tell you how you've done. Complete the business indicators. These are high-level questions that you will likely know the answer to right off the top. For example, do you currently own shares in your company? When was your business incorporated? Are you the most senior person and or chief decision maker in your business? What was your top line or gross revenue in the most recent fiscal year? Have you applied to the RBC Canadian Women Entrepreneur Awards before? If you have applied before, congratulations, we know you're on the right track. Some of our applicants apply two to three years in a row before even making it to the finalist round, but we often see that this perseverance is met with great rewards, like winning. Though your status is as a past applicant does not affect your eligibility, a past winner is eligible to apply for the Profit Award for Excellence in Entrepreneurship only. Declare it. Check the box, I intend to, the, to apply to the RBC Canadian Women Entrepreneur Awards. These are answers that you should have an easy response to, and if it requires any type of follow-up or explanation, you can email us the supporting information. Once you complete your Intent to Apply form, you will receive an email confirmation of your submission that includes a link to the formal application. Before you get to work on the application, we suggest using the following resources to prepare. These videos. On the application help page, click on the link for our video about the award category. The RBC Canadian Women Entrepreneur Awards LinkedIn group. This is an incredible resource to connect with like-minded female entrepreneurs across the country winners, applicants, sponsors, and they can help you with questions about the application process. To join the group, visit linkedin.com and type RBC Canadian Women Entrepreneur Awards into the search bar. Reach out to some other resources. We've done the research and built a roster of external resources found on the application help page that you can tap into for support on your journey. See you soon.